Welcome back to UC Star Astrologies. I'm your astrologer, Cindy. This is going to be the general weekly read. It is the 17th of October, 2018, and it's Wednesday. Okay, so um, I want to talk about Venus that's going retrograde since the 5th of October, conjuncting Mercury in Scorpio. And it is negatively squaring Mars and Aquarius. What does this all mean? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, all that astrology jive. Well, I'm going to break it down for you. Okay, so Scorpio. What is Scorpio? Scorpio is, I have it here, Scorpio. Now, it is it is the eighth constellation, okay, the eighth constellation, and it has to do, now first let's say, who are the lords of Scorpio? We have Mars, okay, who is the son of Zeus, and then we have Pluto, who is the brother to Zeus, and there were the three, you know, three main gods, <laughs> um, Pluto, um, Pluto, Zeus, and and um, Neptune, <laughs> okay, they were the ones who took over after Saturn. Okay, so, um, now, Pluto is the god of the underworld, okay? He uh, married Prosephone, and, the, and they both reign in the underworld, and he, he was shot by an arrow from Cupid, and he fell madly in love with Persephone, and he just, like, took her down to the underworld and they got married and so they both reign in the underworld and that's why they or Pluto together with Persephone that's why when he is in the eighth house he has to do with marriage okay he has to do with marriage and because he was hit by Cupid this marriage and this love this bond is like eternal he'll never um, betray Persephone, he's so in love with her, he's so true, and so, um, you never hear anything about him like Zeus, okay, who's all over the place, spreading his seed all over the place, <laughs> okay, but that's what they say too about Scorpio, Scorpios, um, you know, they like to, they, they don't like anything, um, um, that is, that is uh, superficial, they want something real. Well, um, so this is about deep spiritual, this is about um, sex and marriage and deep spiritual knowledge, okay? So, um, such as Tantra and, and you know, it, it to enlightenment, okay? And it, yes, it's definitely the house of sex, you know, Persephone, she took, she fell in love with with um, Pluto because you know she's <laughs> he knew his way around a woman. Okay, so um, <laughs> so this is about deep contracts. That's why you know they you may be careful that you don't sell your soul. <laughs> okay, deep contracts, very binding contracts, long lasting contracts such as marriage and business partnerships, okay? This is also the house of other people's money, okay? Such as government payouts, bank loans, spouses' money, alimony, and especially inheritances because the eighth house also has to do with the uh, death. It has to do with reincarnation, okay? And, um, yeah, so... This also has to do with spouse's money. And this is interesting because Venus, who's going retrograde at the time, she also has to do with money. She has to do with beauty and fertility. And that's very interesting. Venus has to do with fertility. And both um, Persephone and Pluto also have to do with fertility. Okay? So... Um, so also when you have like a business partnership, you may not be making babies, but you are creating a product, you are creating money, okay? So 
Venus the, is is also the goddess of fertility, of love, of beauty, also of money, arts, okay, creativity. I said this, but now she's going retrograde. What is retrograde? Okay, now let's imagine this beautiful little red pen here represents Venus. This is the sun. Okay, let's make her red. This is the sun. <laughs> and Venus. Venus, when she's going forward, she's going this way, okay, forward, behind the sun, behind the sun, and we're getting that our DNA is feeling like, okay, everything's fine, everything's going right, but then when she goes in front of the sun, in front of the sun, then it looks like when she's between the sun and the earth, she looks like she's going backwards and not forwards. She's going backwards, and our DNA is registering that she's going backwards, okay? She's actually going forward just all around, but our DNA is picking up that she's going backwards. So when Venus goes backwards, it's almost like, like she's going back in time, you know? She's like, beep, 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 our, 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 our DNA, our soul, our matrix is feeling like, the love is going, or Venus is going back in time. So what happens is that exes pop out of nowhere like cockroaches coming out of the corner. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, so exes can return. And um, breakups can happen if you were in a relationship that was like in a relationship. Breakups can happen if you were single. Um, uh, someone can come. Now, it doesn't matter actually whether you're single or not. It could be now. It could be that you broke up, and because you broke up, you ran to your ex. Okay, or it could be that the ex showed up, and then you had hanky panky with the ex, and because you had hanky panky with the ex, you broke up with the other person that you have now. Okay. And I did have clarify about Pluto was also um, squaring, uh, Pluto is squaring in, later this month, will be squaring Demeter, the mother of Persephone, in, in Libra. So that's going to be very interesting. And it's like, if you were involved with someone, it's like, because Pluto just took away Persephone, just stole her and, and left Demeter very sad, um, wondering where is her daughter, okay? She was kidnapped, but Persephone fell in love with, with Pluto. And um, so, so what does this say to each individual, okay? Now, one thing, too, is uh, Venus is conjuncting this on the 15th of October, Venus and Mercury conjuncted, like right on the dot. And Mercury has to do with communication, contracts, just like Scorpio has to do with contracts. It has to do with your intelligence, your brain. It has to do with transportation, planes, trains, and automobiles. It has to do with the internet, communication, yes. Salesmanship, um, thoughts, your brains, your thoughts. And it also has to do with any kind of work that you do with your hands and your arms. And I remember when Mercury, was it? When Mercury was going retrograde or it was squaring something of mine or something like that. And I think it was when it went retrograde. And I hurt my finger really bad or my, my wrist or something like that. My right wrist and my finger because I forgot that I had put oil on my feet and then I decided to do a kung fu kick and I slipped and I tried to catch myself and I hurt my hand. I was like, why didn't I see that coming? It doesn't matter whether I'm an astrologer or not. They things still happen, baby. Okay, so what happens when Venus and Mercury um, conjunct? Well, one thing when Normally, Venus 
She's that flirter. She loves, loves, loves to flirt. And that Mercury, too, when they get together, they're all about wanting to flirt, flirting with someone from the past, you know, trying to, trying to also talk things over. Now, because Scorpio is very, very deep, very spiritual, um, wanting to regenerate, wanting to, um, it's the house of death and reincarnation, Venus going backwards, it's like um, um, wanting to heal that sexual side in you, like if you have any blockages that has to do with marriage or um, Venus is wanting to heal this. So if you meet up with anyone from the past, you may be asking them like, why? What happened? Why did it go down the way it did? Especially for you Aries, okay? People who are going to be feeling this the most, um, what I'm talking about are Aries, Taurus, Cancerians, and... Who else? Anything from the, okay, Sagittarians, Sagis, and I would say uh, um, Libra is going to be feeling this too when once, it, um, not this week, but um, yeah, I think these, these, um, I think Libra is going to be feeling this too because Venus is your Lord and you will be feeling this. Whatever Venus is doing, you're going to feel it just like me. Whatever Gemini is doing, I definitely feel that so strongly as a Gemini person. Okay, so um, you you could be feeling uh, like you're needing to talk things out, wanting to heal, um, wanting to heal your heart. And it is in, for a lot of people, you know, it is in, in um, this house that has to do with marriage and... Um, so, but it is a time for many people to want to heal. Now, be wary, people. <laughs> Venus going retrograde, I did share. And, and this is not a time to be promiscuous, especially Aries people, Taurus people, um, Cancerians, Sagittarians, okay? Don't and 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 Gemini people don't be promiscuous because this is a, a a what is it called STD or these these venereal sexual diseases very good time to catch any uh, kind of sexual diseases um, if you are misusing Venus's energy while she is going retrograde in the house that has to do with fertility and the fertility organs she has to do with fertility and this thing has to do with fertility and um mercury mercury has to do now mercury there may be like lot, lots of communication in regards to um in regards to you know talking it out with people from your past or business partnerships or or your best friend you know like someone you know from the past who really hurt you and you want to know why did you hurt me okay now for uh, Gemini's def definitely um, um, or all these people that I shared Aries Taurus Gemini Cancerians Sagittarius um, and Scorpio people, um, very possible, you know, you just have to be careful, not just from getting any kind of venereal diseases, but it maybe, you know, uh, like for women, maybe you're, you know, something's not right with the, with, you know, the, I want to say it in German, with your ovaries or your uterus, you may have to get that checked out, or maybe you're getting, you know, lots of PMS cramps, who knows, <laughs> but um, even, even men, you know, you may have to get things checked out down there, okay, now's the time to do that, okay, um, and for, for um, Leo people, Leo people, there may be some things that have to do with contracts, like adopting kids or 
anything that where you're having to deal with um, contracts in regards to your home, in regards to your family, in regards to your kids, having to deal with any kind of contracts like this or wanting to adopt a kid and there may be like difficulties there, you know, communication, hin und her, as they say in German, um, um, talking about this, having to transport your kids um, a lot, um, or your mother, having to transport your mother um, a lot, um, for, for Libra people, you know, this is, this is your money house. You have to maybe maybe you're trying to be more careful with your money. You, you know, uh, you're probably like, where? Why isn't the money coming in? You know, I my paycheck is 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 being held, withheld, or something like that. Or or it could be like um, someone from your past returns, and they are not appreciating you. They're they're like keeping away from you and saying, no, thank you. I don't want to be involved with you. You broke my heart and you know, you, I don't trust you. And, and so you're feeling like you could be feeling like someone from your past is not appreciating you and not really seeing your worth and, and, um, or it could be if you're in a, in a, in a marriage that the marriage partner is not seeing your worth. Or your business partner just doesn't see your worth for some reason or another. Scorpio people, Scorpios, you may be feeling like, I just need a spiritual makeover. Like, I don't want to have to do with any kind of relationships until I figure out who I am. <laughs> you know, you may be feeling like, um, who am I? You know, what kind of kind of a woman have I been doing, you know, been being, <laughs> what kind of, what have I been doing with my sexual life lately, what, how can I be better, how can I better myself as a woman, or how can I better my marriage, or how can I better my, my sexual relationship, how can I make it more real, more deep, more intense, more spiritual, how can I make myself more spiritual, what can I do? You may be even be thinking of doing things like um, ayahuasca, you know, wanting to die so that you can achieve a deeper spirituality. You know, you may be wanting to do some kind of DMT um, shamanic ritual or something that has to do with death and transformation. And so a lot of Scorpios may be going through this. It's Especially because you're wanting to transform your sexual life, okay? So you may be having to die to yourself and or you're really like giving yourself a, a look over wanting definitely to heal your heart and your emotions from past heartbreaks. Sagittarians, it's a lot very, very spiritual, very spiritual. Um it's definitely um, someone could come from the past, someone a, 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 who is very spiritual, who can really uh, help bring enlightenment into your into your life. So someone could be coming into your life that is going to help, that is going to help um, your enlightenment, your spirituality. Someone from the past. It could be also a past lover or so. Okay, um, yeah, so Capricorns, it's a friend, it's a friend, a past friend, a very past spiritual friend you may have seen or you may bump into or you may be thinking, you know, I really want to meet with them and you may, you know, call them or they may call you, um, but it definitely has to do with friends wanting to meet up with them, someone from the past, or, um, yeah, it's just, uh, it could even be on the internet, like if you had met someone on the internet in the past, and you really, really liked them, or they were really spiritual, this is also like, like connecting to someone who did tarot 
for you in the past and you're going back to get some some you know another read <laughs> for Pisceans this has to do with work okay and I'm talking uh, talking with your bosses about your work um, it could be uh, returning to a, a, a past job a past work thing some past projects within your career um, you may be also thinking like, how can I better my career? What can I do to make my career better and more creative? And you may be thinking of ways to make yourself more creative and, and challenging yourself, okay? Any new projects may not, you know, last very long. No, uh, don't start a new contract around this time um, because it won't last okay so i think that i think i did everyone okay definitely virgos virgos also has to do with contracts um yeah you may be having to um you may be having to um, deal with contracts for one reason or another with probably your ex spouse having to do um like, hey, knock on, I, for my job, I need this, um, mar our marital contract because I have to send it into our, our um, or our divorce papers for some reason or uh, papers of our, um, uh, the documents that have to do when the kid's birth certificates or things like that. You may be having to talk to someone or you may be speaking to someone from um, your neighborhood that you haven't spoken to in a long time, okay? Talking spirituality, um, um, yeah, or yeah, just reconnecting with someone like a 